So yesterday when we were talking about sequences, one of the sequences we looked at was the Fibonacci sequence. The numbers 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and so on, where each number is the sum of the previous two. So it goes forever and ever. The numbers keep getting bigger and bigger, so it has no limit. But Atlanta was talking about the golden mean yesterday, which in math we often call the golden ratio. It's also called the golden number. If you take any term from the Fibonacci sequence and divide by the divided by the previous term, you always you, it, it approaches a certain value as n goes to infinity. In other words, as you go further to the right, this ratio approaches a certain number. So on your calculators, just divide for me 144 by 89. Give it to me to, let's say, two decimal points. Well, okay, I'll give you the one and the decimal. That's the hard part. You give me the easy part. Three decimals. <laughs> okay, do it in your head then. All I need is one calculator. Okay, I'll, I guess I'll give you the next number. Is it a one? Eight. After the one, it's an eight? Or, okay. Six, one, seven. That's close. Okay, so and after the seven? It is a nine. Okay, so, it, so it, it's about 1.618, like I thought. So this number is that golden ratio, or the golden mean, that Atlanta was talking about. It comes up in nature and it comes up in art. That's where Atlanta's seen it. And it's equal to, if I'm not mistaken, root five plus one over two. Can you just do that on your calculator to see if that's right while I check my notes? Um, yeah, that's right. Can you just check that? That's right? Okay. Thank you, Elena. Okay, now two proofs. We're gonna prove that zero